So this is the Dyad prosthetics. I just got them in today. I ordered the Rich. Let me just. This is a premium foam latex prosthetic piece. As you can see. Sorry, let me open it up here. It's really soft. Texture and detailing is on point. Thin edges should make it pretty smooth for blending. And I believe the chin piece is a separate piece, so that'll really make it easy to glue down around the, the complicated parts, around the lips and the, in the chin area. Um, so this is a pretty good looking piece. Uh, coloring is, is pretty fair. You can either do an undertone, um, uh, like a mauve or a dark color to start the layers and then go from dark to light from there. Um, I usually do that. In this case, this is a pretty basic flesh tone. I've known some people just to get it out of the box and apply it and just start coloring, or at least pre-painting it with some PAX paints, but not doing an undertone. So this looks looks pretty, pretty decent. Um, these pieces are pretty inexpensive for what you get. Uh, there are other foam prosthetic companies pumping out stuff, but they're a little more expensive. This is sort of the middle ground. You're gonna get a, a quality sculpted piece. In this case, for one price, I got the, the neck piece too, which is really nice. Goes underneath the chin. Again, a really lightweight, very durable, soft foam. Got some nice detail and texture. And I think usually uh, on, on some of the other websites, two pieces like this can run you between $300 uh, and $400 for two pieces. But this, you get both of these pieces for about $190. There is a shipping cost, uh, but you can waive that and you will pay about $200 for these two pieces, which is not bad if you're doing a, a small indie production. Now, you know, if you're doing, if you need quantity or mass amounts, that's going to change, obviously, because at each piece, you know, if you need at least five of these, you're looking at around close to a thousand. Um, but again, that's not too bad than having to, it might be a little cheaper to run your own prosthetics, but if you don't have the time to do all that, cast the actor's face and sculpt the piece and, and run the molds, you can definitely get um, Dyads. That's the company here. Um, I think they're located out of Valencia. Took about, about a week to come. I ordered it on March 30th and then got it in. Uh, on the seventh, uh, which was today, so not not too uh, too bad as far as turnaround. Um, that's the general. Uh, I think turnaround is about three to five days. You might be able to pay for a rush. Um, I know with some of the other companies they do that. Uh, so there's two companies. There's another company named RBFX, who runs uh, the same sort of high end, premium foam uh, prosthetics. Their catalog is a little bigger. They have a lot, um, a lot more characters and options for a, a variety of different projects. This, I think Dyad is still kind of growing their catalog, but there's still a good amount. But uh, RBFX, the difference between these two pieces is that with RBFX, the foam is just a tad bit thinner in some ways. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's like it, this is still <clears throat> a very thin, lightweight foam. It seems like the, the types of foam that or the weight methods that they're running them, RBFXs are just a little thinner and lighter. Um, in some cases, it, you know, it's so light, it's soft to the touch. It almost feels like, like just like a light tissue. This is just a little, just a tad bit heavier than that. Um, but with the RBFX pieces, you're going to pay, again, a add on, tack on about two to three hundred dollars. The quality is there and their catalog is pretty strong, but for something like this, which is a sort of a, um, a hag or a, a witch, $190 for two pieces is not bad. And it's still a very high quality foam latex piece. It's not like some of the older companies like Rubberware um, or even going way back to, to Wuchi. Those are, uh, you know, not the best in terms of quality. Um, this is definitely a, you know, major major, major step away from those those companies. Um, so the next video, I'm gonna apply these two pieces um, and you can see how they look and move. 
and how they work um, with shooting. And uh, it, so I'm really excited. It looks, it's, I think it should be pretty good. This is my first time applying these prosthetics. I p applied uh, RBFX prosthetics before, um, and uh, those always run pretty, those are very smooth to apply. I've never had them rip or tear or anything, and they are definitely worth the price. And their turnaround is a little faster. Uh, I've ordered a piece on like a Monday and then was ready to pick up at Motion Picture Effects probably either by Thursday or Friday, maybe Monday, but I don't think it's it's been um, that long. I, th I think it depends on the time also that you're ordering. Orders for a lot of these companies will start picking up in most likely August, closer to Halloween, and then definitely full steam in September and then October, forget it. I mean, they're probably running pieces left and right, but um, I usually order pieces. I've ordered pieces from RBFX. Um, there's also another company out of kit, but they don't really do um, like full face prosthetics. They do more wounds. Uh, and I think the other one I, I ordered from was a British company called Nema, I think it was. And theirs were silicone, really heavy, um, but very high quality, but heavy pieces. The, th the thing with foam is it's easier to paint. It's a lightweight on the actor. And um, as far in terms of budget, it's it's less expensive than like a silicone piece. Uh, when it comes closer to Halloween, I'll definitely do more um, appliance and uh, advice videos for doing out of kit effects. And if you're, you know, planning to do your own makeup or if you want to apply for uh, like a short film or just an independent feature, uh, I'll definitely be um, uploading more videos for that. For this piece, the next video I do will be applying this. Right now I just did the unboxing and um, very, very good high-end pieces. And again, for the price, not bad at all. You get the, the face prosthetic with the chin piece. So it's like three separate pieces. Got this piece, this full piece here, and then the chin piece. So not too bad for that. Uh, can't wait to apply them. And uh, yeah, pretty awesome.